coming up this evening on BBC London. Not enough resources to deal with a threat of terror, the stark warning from the man in charge of Scotland Yard during 7-7. Now you see it, now you don't. Londoners are warned about having valuables out on show as moped crime hits an all-time high. We go up to them and we advise them and they say to us, I've already had it stolen three or four times. And we're like, wow, and you're still doing it. Also on the programme tonight, fears for London's green spaces. Campaigners claim dozens are under threat from developers. And... Fast falls the even tide. tide. Hoping to be pitch perfect, the fans chosen to sing in front of thousands ahead of this weekend's FA Cup final at Wembley. Very good evening, I'm Assad Ahmed. The man in charge of the Metropolitan Police during the 7-7 bombings has warned there will never be enough resources to prevent future terror attacks from taking place. Lord Blair said difficult choices will always need to be made in order to choose which targets to pursue. In a moment, we'll look at what's being done to stop people being radicalised in the first place. But first, our Home Affairs correspondent, Nick Beek, looks at the scale of the threat being faced. Outside Scotland Yard, they paused to remember the victims of the Manchester attack. Five degrees, and then for Monday, it could be a touch cooler still, with the risk of one or two showers. So a mixed bag, actually, I said. Yeah, mixed bag, some hot weather at the weekend. OK, Stav, thanks very much for that. Now, before we go, a recap on the day's main BBC headlines this Thursday evening. Greater Manchester Police have reported good progress with the, their investigation into the suicide attack on Monday night, making significant arrests and seizing important items. President Trump has said that the culprit who leaked the name of the Manchester bomber and pictures from the crime scene should be prosecuted. The information emerged against the wishes of police here. And the Queen has been to the Royal Manchester Children's Hospital to visit some of those who were injured, as well as meeting the medics treating them. She told them the attack had been very wicked. Well, that's it uh, from the BBC London team for now. We'd love to hear from you about any of the stories we've covered today or tell us about something we missed. Get in touch on Twitter, Facebook or email. Bye from all of us here.